All right, guys, we've had a leisurely morning. I wouldn't call it quite leisurely, but we had wonderful biscuits and homegrown bacon. Oh man, you just talk about good. But anyway, so we've taken the time today to do some laundry and a few things around the house, and we've got caught up on all of our homework, which is huge. So we've come back out for the afternoon. It's allowed it to kind of warm up a little bit, nice sweatshirt weather, and we're gonna be doing a lot of chores out here. So hope to make uh, some type of concoction for dinner. I don't know, just whatever strikes us, I guess. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes some days? All right, let's get busy. We've got a lot to do before this sun goes down. Let's go. Are you comfy? I bet you thought we did that just for you, don't ya? You're so vain. <laughs> you probably think this hay is about you, don't you? <laughs> Mr. Peaches. You interrupt our day, but we love it. We're in the World's Strongest Man Contest. <laughs> Ken Patera won the World's Strongest Man Contest in 1977. And somebody in my family thought Patera was a cool name from Ken Patera. A little trivia for you there. All right, let's go. So the idea, guys, is to have these three cattle panels, and we're coming down here. Let me see if I can back it up. Back it on up. And we're going to clean this up. See, this is where the pigs were. They've been gone a while, so this is all dry. We let it dry up. We've cleaned it up. We've got to hammer that back. We're going to leave the gate off of here so that we can keep the gate here. So we're starting to work on this area. Uh, which was originally the goat shed. So we're going to take it, take it back, right? Cochise, we're going to take it back. Woo. What are you doing? Cochise, we got to brush you out badly and cut out this, whatever you got into. Look at that. So here's the deal. Cochise, hey guys. Cochise is still supervised with all the farm animals, okay? He lives in the barn. He has his own stall. He comes out several times a day. <laughs> but it is with us. We wanted to do that until we got him to the two-year mark, which he has just now hit on Thanksgiving. At that point, we are taking him. I'm going to make an appointment, and we are getting him neutered. The reason we waited so long is, number one, we didn't know if we were going to breed him, what we were going to do. And number two, I wanted him to reach a good age of maturity before having him neutered. But guess what? Calling this week. Probably this week, and I have it done uh, sometime in December is what it's looking like, obviously. So, that's how this rolls, okay? We have really good fencing. We do have electric fencing, but I can tell you an animal like that, <laughs> silly as he is, has taken a lot of acclimation and a lot of supervision, and he needs a bath. Let me tell you right now, <laughs> They get dirty really quick, as you can see. So, girls, we got you. Girls and guys, we got you over here. We're gonna have you back in just a minute. Yep, about to put the fencing up. Yeah, we are. Now you see why he gets tremendously dirty very fast. Yeah, that's probably cow poop. <laughs> all right guys so what we're doing is we are replacing the hog panels you can see right there see with the cattle panel i'm showing you this because i want you to see the difference in height now yes actually no i don't think that's any higher uh what is it uh gosh 50 something inches to 38 inches i don't have it off the top of my head guys but it is a quite a substantial difference in terms of height that's and they're about the same price so that's why I always tell you don't get hog panels whether it's for your garden or whether it's for fencing go ahead and get the cattle panel because look at how much more height uh, and flexibility that you're gonna get and yep it's a mess down here we're cleaning it up we know
just wanting to show you what the garden is looking like. There is no garden. It's like a couple of twigs. So between the cows and the goats for a couple, just a couple of weeks, and then one nice frost, and now a bunch of chickens, absolutely worked it completely down. Look at that. Unbelievable. Just to show you, <laughs> we had volunteer tomato plants coming up in the pig pen. We had cucumbers, squ what squash, and for sure tomatoes. So <laughs> you can tell what they are eating. All right, so here's what we've done. We've gotten half of it done. We brought down the straw and the DE and doing different things in here, but it's getting dark. And we've got to clear all of the old stuff, as you can see, yada, 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 out. So we have to complete this side over here, but we've got to get out basically the Dremel uh, and in order to cut this, and it's getting dark. So we've got one side completely done, one side halfway done, but we knew it was going to be a work in progress. Oh, look who's coming up out of there. But anyway, it's time for us to go in and cook dinner. We've got to collect the eggs. We've got to feed Moses. We've got to put Cochise back up and put the cows back over. So it's a work in progress. What have you been into? crooked but it's Christmas time on the coop <laughs> what are you doing hi Miss Luna Duna and Crystal Gale what are you doing looking for treats looking for treats <laughs> Get a new house. Woo